What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna look at images for custom Kinter. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at images for custom Kinter. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at images with custom Kinter. Now, custom Kinter does images a little bit different than regular Kinter does. And you can use the old way of doing images with Kinter in custom Kinter. It works perfectly fine, but it doesn't scale as well. And if you use the old way, the regular way of Kinter images in custom Kinter, you'll get sort of a warning on the terminal when you run it saying something about scaling and blah, blah, blah. It still works, but you get this big angry warning and it's not great. It's better to use the custom Kinter image utility, sort of like a widget to do this. And that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this custom Kinter series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got a regular custom Kinter starter code that we always have. I've called it ctk underscore images dot pi. And the first thing we need to do, we need to use the Python image library for this pill. So it's uh, called pillow or pill for short. So if you haven't already installed this, head over to your terminal and pip install pillow. And it's a capital P. Now I've already got this on my computer. So it's like, hey, you've already got it. Uh, but if you don't have it, it will go ahead and install it. So Next, we need to come up here and import that. So let's go from PIL, and those are all capital. We want to import image. And we use pillow for regular Kinter images too. You don't have to, but it's sort of best practices. So let's come down here and let's define an image. So I'm just going to call this my underscore image. And this is going to be a custom tkinter.ctk image. And you'll notice this, you know, looks like a widget, but it's not technically a widget, it's a utility, but it acts pretty much the same way. So Normally we would put root, right? But again, this is not a widget, it's a utility. So we don't have to put this in root because we're not putting the image on the screen yet. We're gonna add it to a label later on. To use this, we need to define two things, light image and dark image. And with custom Kinter, you can run it in light and dark mode. Right up here, we're doing dark mode. I, I find it a good idea just to, to put both of them in here. So to do this, let's go light underscore image equals, and this is gonna be an image dot open. And inside of here, you just point to the image you wanna open. So in my tkinter.com directory, I have a, a directory called images. And inside of there, I have an image called aspen1.png. And if we look here, this is the image of my dog Aspen that we're gonna use, and the, but that's sitting in this directory now. This images directory, like I said, is in the same directory that this file is in. So we can use a relative path here. Otherwise, you would have to go you know, C slash whatever slash, you know, whatever. But like I said, since they're all in the same directory, we can do it like that. So that's for your light image. If you're using the light theme, we also need a dark underscore image and that's gonna equal image dot open. And again, same thing. We point this to images slash aspen one dot PNG. Strictly speaking, that's all we need, but we need something else. I'm gonna leave it off here for now. We'll talk about it in a minute. For now, let's create a label. I'm gonna call this my underscore label. And this is gonna be a custom tkinter.ctk label. We wanna put this in root. We want the text to equal nothing. And we want the image to equal my underscore image. So then let's my underscore label dot pack this guy. And let's give it a pad Y of 10, push down screen a little bit. Now, let me change the size of my app because this image is pretty big. I'm gonna change this to 550. So 400 by 550, that should work. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. Now this isn't gonna work correctly, but I wanna show you what happens here. So let's head over to our terminal and, and let's run this guy. So let's go Python ctk underscore images dot pi. And when we do, oh, we get an error, got a typo. Typo, what did I do? Ah, we forgot to close that. There we go. All right, now, one thing I'll mention, this L, it kind of looks like a capital L, but it's actually a lowercase. Sublime just does that, drives me crazy. But okay, that should work. Go ahead and save this, head back over here again. Let's clear the screen, run this guy again. And here we have our image, but it's very, very small, right? So that's the problem I was mentioning, which is actually a nice thing. With regular Kinter to resize an image, you have to go through a whole slew of things. It's, it's doable. 
it's doable, but it's a hassle. With this, all you have to do is come up here where you define your image, just set the size. Now this is gonna be a tuple, and we want this to be 360 by 500. And this is gonna be what? Width by height, right? So if we go ahead and save this now, head back over here, run this guy again. Now we've got a nicely sized image. It looks exactly like it should. There's no angry errors in our terminal. And that's really all there is to it. Now, the nice thing about this is this is the size of the image, but we could easily change this just by changing these things. So we could go 250 by, well, this would be like what, 180, something like that. If we save this and run it again, our image is nicely scaled to that size. It looks good. That's all we have to do, which is really, really cool. Like I said, Resizing images in regular Kinter is a hassle. You have to actually resize the image. Like you have to open it, resize it in Python, save it as a new file, then render that new file. It's like a whole thing, right? This is easy. This is great. It works perfectly. And that is all there is to it. So that's really all of the different attributes that are available for this, just light image and dark image. And I really don't know the difference. If we took off dark image here, and just did light image, it would look the same, even though we're using the dark theme. Maybe it looks different if you're using the light theme. Well, let's give it a try. Let's go light theme. If we save this, head back over here, run this guy again. The whole thing is light, but you know, the image is still the same image. I, I don't know. <laughs> right? So uh, I'm not really sure what the difference is there. But either way, you know, if you're using the dark theme, you should probably use the dark image. Or you could just add both of them like this works exactly the same. So that's how you use images in custom Kinter. Super easy, very useful, and that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab your totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome, over 150 pages with all the Kinter Widget attributes. Grab your free copy today, just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book, enter your email address, and I'll send that right out to you. And while you're there, think about membership in tkinter.com. You get all my Kinter courses, all my future courses at one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.